six months after the devastating earthquake that hit Nepal, life is gradually starting to come back to normal. The last few months have marked the monsoon season throughout the country with many communities cut off by impassable roads and landslides. However, monsoon is also a time of hope, with people all over the country beginning to plant crops such as rice, millets and vegetable seeds for the coming year. Nepal's main source of income is agriculture. People depend on crops like rice and vegetables for their day-to-day -day survival and for their livelihoods. CARE has been supporting some of the remotest communities with vegetable seeds such as tomatoes, cauliflower and beans. For families such as Sumar and Putali Taman, this has been a godsend. Most of their animals and crops were destroyed by the earthquake along with their house and possession. They are planning to use the money they make from the seeds to send their children to school. Thanks to the training provided by CARE, they can now grow a wider variety of more sustainable crops like the tomatoes they have already begun growing. This is just one of the number of trainings provided by CARE on areas that also includes proper hygiene and sanitation. The destruction caused by the earthquake and the onset of rainy season means that the risk of waterborne disease are much higher and proper information is needed on how to combat this. CARE is working in four of the worst affected districts providing shelter, water and sanitation, livelihood support, reproductive health assistance and combating gender-based violence.